Oh, God. So 4K Trey Moran does it again, man. So John Moran got suspended earlier today from all team activities pending a review from the league again for flashing a gun and an even bigger gun this time at that. I mean, it was such a bad look that even his friend had to cut the camera away, bro. So unfortunate and so bad that even Stephen A. Smith had to compare this situation to Zion Williamson's body and RJ Barrett's career. It's really hard to put to, to put this into words, but I'm going to try. Um, as you know, I'm a Nick fan, and we've talked about R.J. Barrett. Between Zion Williamson's body and John Morant's stupidity, R.J. Barrett might end up being the best pick. I know his PR team working overtime right now. For me, it's just the fact that Nike cut off Kyrie Irving for sharing a link while John Morant's literally showing a gun every the one or two months. Now, me personally, I don't think it's that big of a deal, me personally. But as a star pointing guard of the NBA team, and you're basically representing an entire franchise, I do think you have to be a little bit more responsible with what you're doing, especially when you just lost in the playoffs. Like, this isn't a good look. Not only that, but I'm holding not only John Morant responsible, but T Morant. Yes, I understand John Morant is 23 years old. He's a grown ass man. He's going to do whatever he wants to do. But T Morant, who's literally at his games most of the time, doesn't have a problem cheering him on when he's doing something right on the court. But when it comes to the off court antics, he's been really, really silent. And I think he needs to really sit down and have that talk with him. Now, I don't know if John Morant's ego will allow him to do that, but it, something has to be done. Like, there's no reason for this to be happening again. Even after, you know, the fake little sit down interview you did with Jalen Rose. You are holding a gun. And we both know how dangerous that can be. Whose gun were you holding? Well, the gun wasn't mine. Um, no, I, it's not who I am. I don't condone and, you know, any type of violence. Um, but I take, you know, full responsibility, you know, for my actions. Um, made a you know, bad mistake. Um, and I can see uh, the image, you know, that I, I painted, you know, over myself, you know, with my recent mistakes, but you know, in the future, um, I'm gonna show everybody who Ja really is, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm about and um, you know, change this narrative. Even after the Memphis Grizzlies literally suspended you for eight games, you, you just can't do this, especially coming off of a loss in the NBA playoffs. It's not a good look, especially considering the fact that you just signed a five year, $194 million contract last year a contract where you're making almost 40 million dollars for five years like really think about it 4k trey moran is addicted to young boy guns and instagram live like he just needs he needs some kind of mentorship probably deactivate instagram most likely but me personally i think the most glaring issue was the fact that when he was on that plane and he was sipping all that alcohol come on I'm man working? That needs to be more of a discussion here because if I'm in that position and I'm making almost $40 million, I don't care what I like to do. I'm representing my team 24 seven, 365, whether I like to admit it or not. Like you literally have a chance to be the face of the league potentially, and you're throwing it away because of a young boy album. And it's always the people on Twitter that try to defend this BS. Oh, let Ja live. It's like, no, bro, you're, you're you, no. <laughs> Like, this is the life that you chose. You're in the NBA now. Do you want to be an NBA player or do you want to be young boy? Pick a side, bro. At this point, I don't know if John Morant wants to be an NBA player or he wants to be the sixth man on the shootout team. Well, hopefully Ja learns his lesson because if he doesn't soon, it's going to end in a very tragic 30 for 30 of what could have been.